Hey friends, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today on the turntable, we're continuing our look at the McFarlane Toys DC Direct, DC Multiverse NFT digital wave of figures. It was a three figure wave that consisted of a classic Aquaman, a Batman from Rebirth, and of course this brand new Silver Age Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Now we did receive one previous Hal Jordan Green Lantern figure very early in the onset of this McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse extravaganza of action figures. It was a two pack with Dawnbreaker. It kind of had mixed reviews. I never opened that wave of two packs. I do have it. I enjoy it. I look at it, but I never open it because after opening another figure, they used that exact same body block. There were some some limitations and some things that definitely needed to be fixed. And I think they fixed it with this figure. So right off the hop here, let's take a look at what we got in the package. And now you do get two very large construct fists that fit onto the figure. We've seen those in the Green Lantern Batman figure from the Fairlane Collector series. Not too bad. Not really the greatest for myself, but I'm glad they did come with some constructs. You get an open hand, a fisted hand, and on the figure you get a holding hand for that awesome Green Lantern Lantern, Powered Lantern, very nice. Now the artwork on the packaging is fantastic. It's more contemporary, but still in that classic kind of style. Really nice artwork there. If anybody knows where this is from, that probably is a variant cover for Green Lantern, but man, that is so nice. Let me know in the comments below. We do have the Silver Age Green Lantern, and now on the inside we do have that card art with the same work on the back the redemption code for the digital figure a new display stand there the fairlane toys digital and yeah what i've said in the past in the other reviews we've done on these digital figures the artwork is fantastic on the back they really stepped it up i like how it covers the entire back of the package no borders to bring up the artwork just looks phenomenal especially this one it captures the power of green lantern very cool like it a lot now this figure hmm this figure is very striking. I got it in a pretty cool pose here. Just showing off that power ring, ready to shoot out a construct. Now this figure is using that incredible Animal Man Blue Beetle body block. Now we saw my video review on that. We saw the great extent that this body box being used successfully. And I think on this Green Lantern, it looks phenomenal. It definitely captures the superheroic proportions, the really dynamic body musculature very heroic very cool and one thing i really appreciate is the way the colors just blend in so nicely it's kind of a muted uh, matte finish for the green a little more gloss on the black in certain areas um but man it just looks great no no paint slop whatsoever very clean lines throughout now you'll notice on this green lantern he doesn't have the green kind of encompassing over the shoulders into a point it's all black. This is how he was in the Silver Age of DZ Comics. And I really appreciate we got this version because it's a cool version. The head sculpt is fantastic. The colors are beautiful. Just represents a different version of Green Lantern that, you know, we don't get too often. We get the more contemporary looks, but I really appreciate this classic look. And let's talk about that head sculpt. That head sculpt is absolutely phenomenal. Definitely a classic Hal Jordan with kind of a smirk going on. Man, this guy's fearless. He'll take on anything, you know, danger is his middle name, so to speak. Very cool. I love that head sculpt. The fact that he comes with this power lantern as well in his translucent green. Thank you so much for adding that. It's essential to this character. If he didn't come with it and he came with the constructs instead, I'd be very disappointed because there's not too many of these lanterns. You have Cobb Rainers, which is very stylized. Um, you got the John Stewart figure. We've got three of those ones. I don't think he comes with any power lanterns, if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, please let me know in the comments. But I don't think he does. And then you got Parallax, who I think just came with energy constructs. And that's about it. So I'm glad we got an actual traditional classic Green Lantern power lantern, power battery. Very cool. And then here on the fist, you got that nice sculpted power ring. There you go. So overall, this figure is really impressive. As a long, long-term Green Lantern fan, I'm so happy we got this figure finally, and he looks just phenomenal. Now, let's talk about some of the articulation that this Green Lantern sports. 
He does have a pretty decent range of motion for the head, great ball joint, got side attitude, everything you want going on. He does have these spacers. Now we've talked about the spacers in the Rebirth Batman. Very, uh, not really useful because they don't do much. It's just jammed in. You gotta do some toy surgery to pop those out. But this one, full spacers in effect. You got lots of range of motion. You got the cut on the bicep, double jointed, ratcheted elbows, ball joints at the wrist. Now for that articulation in the abdominal region. He does have a pretty good range of motion looking back. So you can get him some real nice flight poses. Just like Aquaman, he had a real good range of motion. You can get him some cool kind of coming out of the water, so to speak, poses. Can look down, okay. Ball joint at the waist as well. Ball joints at the hips, double joint ratcheted knees. Toe articulation, side pivot, ankle rocker, sculpted ball joints, looks great. Now, one thing I wanna comment, the green here for the sculpted ball joints here for the ankles are pretty much a great match for the green. Sometimes, and I'm looking at you, Cal Rainer, my goodness, it's a different tone of green. It doesn't match the rest of the aesthetics. So I'm glad they went that extra mile and made sure that they match up perfectly. Very appreciative of that. But yeah, overall, fantastic looking action figure. A definite must have if you're a Green Lantern fan. And I think he just looks phenomenal. Beautiful figure. Now, let's bring in a couple other Green Lanterns, some other heroes that you're gonna pair them up with. And right off the hop here, I wanna bring in Sinestro. Sinestro was one of the Friendly Collector Series figures. This guy is sporting a body buck from Kyle Rayner. And he looks fantastic with this figure. I know that the costumes are not contemporarily matching because of course, this one is much more stylized in the current kind of DC universe where of course this is that classic silver age Green Lantern but they still look great together you know this can be hey just a different costume for Green Lantern it doesn't have to be always you know the most modern you can match these up mix and match your collection your figures you do what you want but I think that these two guys look great and I'm really excited there is an announcement hasn't been official but we're seeing the rumor list we're getting a parallax armor Sinestro so you're gonna see them all armored up hopefully with that cape man it could be the Awesome to see that. Uh, give me more Sinestro. I love Sinestro. He's one of my favorite Green Lantern villains, so to speak. You know, he's that hero that thinks he's doing right, but he's actually the villain. It's kind of cool. It's a great storyline behind Sinestro. Love that. Another figure we're going to bring in here is his other wave mate. And that is the classic Aquaman. You definitely can see these two guys on the Justice League together. You know, in their classic sporting outfits. They look fantastic. Really starting to build up that classic Justice League, which I think a lot of collectors are very happy for. You know, there's been so much contention and so many comments about Green Lantern and other characters not getting that classic look. It's taken a few years, and McFarlane's been putting out a lot of different versions, contemporary stuff, stuff directly from the comic books. But he is finally getting around to making those classic figures, figures excuse me, that everybody wants. And it just took some time, some patience, but we got a really good foundation for a Justice League of America figure wave. Now we'll take a look at some more guys here. This one here, this Superman, he's going to be coming up very shortly in a review, putting together some, some interesting things about this Superman. This, of course, is that Page Punch Rivers repaint with that happy smiley face. I don't know what the feedback is on this figure, if people like it. Um... I personally do like it quite a bit. I want to swap out some heads just to see what I can do and see what he would look like. This potty buck, the color, very popping. But the head, yeah, it could be a little point of contention because people want a more stern looking Superman. I think it would have been great if they would have added an additional head sculpt. So you have a stern or heat vision looking Superman head sculpt to go along with this kind of happy, jovial Superman. But these two guys look great together as well. And then we'll bring in another figure here that would sit well with your Justice League of America. And this is the Nightfall Batman. Again, classic sporting costume. Love that capsule belt. The logo for the bat emblem looks fantastic. These two guys look great together. And you can see these two, of course, pairing off a little bit because they weren't the best of buddies back then. A lot of counterpoints going on with these two character-wise. Very cool. And then we got some more modern contemporary Green Lanterns. We haven't got a ton of different Green Lanterns, like throughout the Green Lantern core. We have got a couple versions of Kyle Rayner. I think almost 
three or four different versions. But, you know, the Green Lantern Corps and their costumes and the way they're done, I think you could have a bunch of different Green Lanterns going together with the classic, the contemporary. It would all kind of fit in together. And I think seeing these two guys together is really cool. Different versions of the Green Lantern. Kyle Rayner is one of my favorites, but Hal is definitely the top top three Green Lanterns for sure. He's number one, Kyle, and then probably Jon Stewart. And then, of course, Guy Gardner is a little bit behind because he's not my favorite, but, you know, hey, we're getting more Green Lanterns, and I'm definitely happy about that. And then the one guy I definitely want to point out with is this here. This is the Jon Stewart Green Lantern from the Endless Winter Build-A-Figure Wave. So this body buck was used on the original Green Lantern in the two-pack that came out years ago with Don Breaker. The body buck is very stylized, has a lot of the kind of temporary line work, armor segments, everything, very textured, very stylized, and actually pretty darn cool. This version of Jon Stewart is probably my favorite out of the one, two, three, four that we've gotten so far. I haven't opened up that Justice League version, the JLA one. But this one, I like the head sculpt the absolute best. I think this one was used for the very first single carded release. And between the two, this one's just painted better. It brings up more definition. And there's some various differences, especially this one, because it has painted green hands instead of traditional, just normal skin tone hands. But I really do like this head sculpt. It looks fantastic. The, like I said, texturing all over the body, the design work, the lines and panels, the sculpted raised Green Lantern logo looks fantastic. I love it when they do that. He does have a pretty good range of articulation, but unfortunately, these arms are just damn long. Like, really long. Way too long, in my opinion. Definitely need a bit shorter. But overall, the aesthetic is very cool. It's a really powerful, striking-looking um, Jon Stewart. And we'll see how he compares against the JLA version. Be very fun to do a comparison with that. And video review will be coming up shortly. But there you go, guys. I am really happy. Very, very impressed with this version of Green Lantern Hal Jordan. Oh, it's been years. <laughs> it's taken a while to finally get this version. And I think they did a phenomenal job. Definitely well worth the wait. One of the standouts in this wave. We are getting another digital wave coming out think in maybe August, probably in Canada, it's going to be around August, we're getting a Ed McGinnis Superman to go along with that Bizarro and Bizarro 2-pack. We're getting a green arrow from Longbow Hunters, which should be pretty darn cool. It's kind of a very classic, iconic costume with the hood. Really nice fabric and textures by the looks of the promo pics. And then the final figure we're getting that wave is a classic Adam, wow, we're finally, we're going deep with the Justice League of America figures. I love this classic version. And I believe he comes with a smaller version and you got the full size version of the figure. So that's a very cool bonus figure. And of course, you're going to get some NFT of, I'm not sure who it is. I think maybe it's Animal Man. So it's kind of weird. We just got Animal Man in actual physical form, but we're getting him in digital form as well. So there you go, guys. Really love this wave of digital NFT figures, the inaugural wave. They knocked it out of the park with Friendly Toys. They gave us some classic characters we've been wanting, some updates on that. Uh, again, Rebirth Batman in blue looks fantastic. So very, very happy with this entire wave. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Green Lantern. Is it hit or miss for you? Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. We got a lot more videos in the pipeline. We have a huge playlist of DC Multiverse video reviews, some shorts, and some other surprises in there for you. So definitely check them out. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.